Imagine Elon Musk, the man who built Tesla into a global empire, stepping into a car that doesn't need charging, doesn't rely on fuel, and seems to rewrite the laws of physics. Now imagine that this car wasn't built in Silicon Valley, but in Africa by a self-taught inventor, Maxwell Chikambutso. This isn't science fiction. This is the day Elon Musk rode Africa's self-powered car. The setup, an unexpected meeting. It was a quiet afternoon in California when Elon Musk landed in a private jet, heading not to Tesla headquarters, but to a discreet testing ground. Waiting, there was Maxwell Chikambutso, standing next to his gleaming silver self-powered EV, a machine that had already been stirring controversy worldwide. Elon was skeptical. He'd read the headlines, heard the rumors. But Musk is a man who believes in hard proof. With a small team of Tesla engineers beside him, he stepped forward and shook Maxwell's hand. Cameras weren't invited. What was about to happen was meant to remain behind closed doors. The test ride begins. Maxwell slid open the car door and gestured. After you, Elon smirked, climbed inside, and examined the minimalist dashboard. No charging port, no battery indicators, just a futuristic console with one glowing message. Powered, infinite range. As the car silently pulled out onto the test track, Elon leaned forward, scanning every detail. Where's the battery system? Where's the charging interface? He asked. Maxwell only smiled, replying calmly. You'll see. The car accelerated, smooth, quiet, powerful. But it wasn't the speed that shocked Elon. It was a realization that, unlike any EV he had ever experienced, the power output wasn't dropping. The car wasn't consuming stored energy. It was creating it. Tesla engineers react. In the following lap, Elon's engineers exchanged nervous glances, typing furiously on their tablets as they recorded data from the car systems. One engineer whispered, This shouldn't even be possible. Elon, usually calm and analytical, leaned back in his seat, visibly unsettled. The hum of the car filled the silence as Maxwell's invention performed flawlessly lap after lap. Finally, Elon turned toward Maxwell with a look of rare vulnerability. If this is real, the entire energy industry is finished. Maxwell, unfazed, replied softly, it is real, and Africa is ready, pushing the limits. Elon wasn't satisfied with a few smooth laps. He asked Maxwell to take the car off the track and onto real roads. Within minutes, the vehicle was gliding through the city streets. People stopped and pointed as they recognized the Tesla CEO sitting in the passenger seat of a mysterious African EV. Take it further, Elon demanded. Push it as far as it can go. So Maxwell drove. Highways, dirt roads, steep inclines, every terrain challenge Musk could think of. The car didn't stutter, didn't overheat, didn't even register a drop in available power. The energy readings remained constant, as if the car was being fueled by an endless invisible source. The challenge. Finally, Elon ordered his engineers to set up a stress test. They connected diagnostic equipment, attempting to overload the system by pushing acceleration, climate control, and every electronic feature to maximum capacity at once. Any normal EV would have drained its battery within minutes. But Maxwell's car? The reading stayed steady. The generator core glowed faintly, humming with mysterious efficiency. Elon crossed his arms, his expression unreadable. For once, the man who always had answers was silent. The revelation. Later, back in the workshop, Maxwell opened the hood and gave Elon a closer look. What they saw wasn't a traditional motor, nor a hidden fuel source. Instead, it was a compact, box-like device with no moving parts— a system Maxwell claimed to harvest and convert ambient energy directly. One of Musk's engineers muttered under his breath, This defies known physics. Maxwell's calm reply echoed in the room. Physics hasn't caught up yet. Elon's reaction. For hours, Elon paced the workshop, asking questions, testing theories, trying to spot flaws. He had built his career on being at the cutting edge of technology. But here... Standing before him was something that could leapfrog Tesla's empire entirely. Finally, he turned back to Maxwell. If this is scaled, Elon admitted, charging stations fuel networks, even power grids. They all become obsolete. Maxwell nodded. That's the point. 
Energy shouldn't be sold. It should be free. The negotiation. Elon leaned forward, lowering his voice so only Maxwell could hear. Do you understand what this means? He said. If this technology gets in the wrong hands, the oil industry, the energy sector, governments, they'll do whatever it takes to bury it. Or worse, they'll take it from you. Maxwell met his gaze calmly. I've lived with that threat for years. But now, the world is ready. You saw it yourself. This isn't a prototype anymore. It's real and it works. Musk paused, considering. For the first time in a long time, he wasn't the one holding all the cards. Behind closed doors, the engineers whispered among themselves, pointing at the readouts. One of them approached Musk with a quiet urgency. Elon, if this scales, Tesla's entire charging infrastructure becomes worthless. Billions in assets, gone overnight. Musk didn't reply immediately. He stared at the glowing device inside the EV's hood, his mind racing. Every instinct told him this was bigger than Tesla, bigger than his Mars ambitions, bigger than anything he had built. Then he turned to Maxwell again. What do you want from me? Maxwell's vision. Maxwell didn't hesitate. I don't want your factories. I don't want your patents. What I want is freedom. The freedom to deploy this technology without being shut down, silenced, or bought out. If you truly believe in innovation for humanity, then help me shield this invention from those who will try to bury it. The room went silent. Elon's team looked uneasy. Some shook their heads. This wasn't business as usual. This was a direct challenge to the way the world economy functioned. The world watches. What neither Musk nor Maxwell knew was that someone had already leaked footage of the test drive. A shaky smartphone video showing Elon Musk inside Maxwell's self-powered EV was spreading across social media. The caption read, Elon Musk caught testing Africa's free energy car. What is Tesla hiding? Within hours, hashtags trended worldwide. News anchors speculated. Oil company stocks dipped. Investors panicked. And governments began making quiet phone calls, demanding answers. The viral explosion. By morning, the video had crossed 50 million views. Every major news outlet replayed the clip. Elon Musk sitting quietly inside a futuristic African car, his face tense, his body language conflicted. Commentators dissected it frame by frame. Some claimed Musk was stunned by what he experienced. Others argued the whole thing was staged. But one thing was certain. The world was now asking the same question. What exactly did he see in that car? Governments step in. Energy regulators demanded briefings. Oil lobbyists pushed for immediate investigations. Intelligence agencies flagged the footage as a national security risk. In Washington, a closed-door meeting convened. One senator slammed a fold on the table and said, If this technology is real, it doesn't just disrupt markets. It disrupts geopolitics. Whoever controls it controls the future. Tesla HQ in turmoil. Back at Tesla headquarters in Austin, Musk's top executives were in panic mode. Their entire long-term business model, the gigafactories, the superchargers, the battery plants, could be rendered obsolete by one African inventor in a mysterious black box. Some pushed Elon to distance himself immediately. Others urged him to negotiate for exclusive rights. But Elon kept replaying the test right in his mind. He knew what he felt when the car accelerated endlessly without draining an ounce of power, liberation. Still, liberation came with consequences. Maxwell's dilemma. In Zimbabwe, Maxwell's workshop was suddenly under surveillance. Unfamiliar cars parked across the street. Calls came from international investors offering impossible sums of money. But Maxwell refused every offer. This isn't for sale, he told them. It's for humanity. Yet deep inside, he knew the stakes had risen. This was no longer about building cars. This was about survival. For himself, for his team, and maybe for the technology itself. The secret visit. Late at night, a private jet landed quietly at Harare International Airport. No press, no entourage, no flashy arrival. Elon Musk himself stepped off, wearing a cap pulled low over his face. Maxwell was waiting. You came alone? He asked, surprised. Elon nodded. I don't need advisors for this. I need answers. Together, they drove to Maxwell's workshop, the same place where the prototype had been born. 
as the gates closed behind them. Elon looked around at the modest facility. No billion-dollar labs. No advanced robotics. Just ingenuity, grit, and vision behind the black box. Inside, Maxwell finally revealed more of his invention. He carefully opened a shielded casing around the mysterious generator core. Instead of wires and circuits, Elon saw something he couldn't immediately explain. A crystalline-like structure glowing faintly, pulsing almost like a living organism. This, Maxwell explained, is not about batteries. It's about resonance. The universe is filled with energy. All I did was find a way to tune into it. Elon leaned closer, fascinated. His engineers back in Texas would have dismissed this as pseudoscience. But he had seen it work. And now, for the first time, he was seeing the heart of it, a dangerous alliance. You realize, Elon said carefully, if this gets out uncontrolled, the backlash will be enormous. Oil companies, governments, even automakers, they won't just come after you. They'll come after anyone who supports you. Maxwell's reply was calm, almost prophetic. Then maybe it's time someone with power stood beside me. Elon didn't respond immediately. He knew what Maxwell was asking. Not money, not patents, but protection. A shield strong enough to withstand the storm that was already gathering. The leaked call. What neither of them knew was that someone had tapped into Elon's private jet communications. The news broke within hours. Elon Musk secretly travels to Zimbabwe. What is he hiding? The world erupted. Analysts speculated. Government scrambled, and within days, foreign agents were spotted near Maxwell's workshop. This was no longer a story about an inventor and his car. It was rapidly becoming a geopolitical war over who would control the future of energy, the breaking point. Maxwell's workshop was no longer just a lab. It had become the center of the world's attention. Journalists camped outside, drones buzz overhead, and anonymous threats poured in by the hour. Inside, Elon Musk stood shoulder to shoulder with Maxwell. They both knew the storm was about to hit. Maxwell, Elon said quietly, if you don't control the narrative, they will. The announcement. Days later, a global live stream began. Screens lit up in New York, London, Beijing, Johannesburg, and beyond. Elon Musk and Maxwell Chikambutso appeared side by side. Elon spoke first. Today, you're not looking at a product. You're looking at the future. A self-powered vehicle that doesn't need charging, doesn't pollute, and doesn't depend on fossil fuels. Maxwell built it, and it works. Gasps echoed across the world. The rumors, the speculation, the secrecy, all confirmed in one breathtaking moment. The aftermath. The reactions were immediate. Oil stocks collapsed overnight. Some governments declared the invention a threat to global stability. Millions of ordinary people, however, saw hope, a chance for affordable, unlimited energy. In Africa, crowds filled the streets, celebrating one of their own change in the course of history. For the first time, the world wasn't just importing technology from the West. The world was looking to Africa for the future. Elon's reflection. Later, in a quiet moment away from the cameras, Elon turned to Maxwell. You've changed everything. Even me. Tesla was never meant to be about cars. It was about accelerating the world to sustainable energy. But you, you've skipped ahead decades. Maxwell smiled faintly. It was never about beating Tesla or anyone else. It was about proving that humanity already has what it needs. If we dare to use it, the legacy begins. The camera panned to the self-powered EV parked behind them. Silent, glowing softly, almost alive. A symbol of freedom of possibility, of a future no longer chained to wires, fuel pumps, or power grids. The world stood divided. Some fighting control it, others praying to protect it. But one truth was undeniable. The age of self-powered technology had begun, and there was no turning back.